11.3.4 finally went on Jules. I guess the dot four was new today. Dot three had been out to a few other people this week. That's 2022.45.13. I am going to go for a drive and just um, let the dash cam record the interior and exterior. I'll probably make this into uh, a separate video, but we'll see. We'll see how tired I am, how much trouble I have pulling the um, files off the dash cam because Don usually does that, etc., etc. <clears throat> Google Maps now actually um, shows our driveway basically coming up to the house. That was a Pokemon Go Google Maps change uh, not too long ago. But right up here at the top of the driveway, I don't have the option to engage um, autopilot. So I'll just drive on down the driveway. I am headed to um, Lowe's Home Improvement. I guess I should probably put that into navigation, huh? It thinks I want to go home. Because <laughs> Dawn still has home and work set to the same thing. So, um, navigate to Lowe's Home Improvement, Holly Springs. It says it's 4.7 miles away. And it's going to take us out the back way, which is what I figured. So, um, that's cool. All right. My neighbor wasn't coming out of their driveway, huh? Yeah. Maybe we'll re-engage it once we get out on uh, on Wagstaff out of the neighborhood now since I've already... <laughs> that was pretty funny. Disengagement one. <laughs> oh, here, we'll go ahead. I'm going to lower it to 20. I ne never do more than that. For some reason, it didn't really engage. I've had that happen on Jules a few times lately. That down, down is not super, um, I don't know, easy. So there is a car coming to my left. Nothing to the right so far. Okay. Uh, let's not stop out in the lane once we've decided to go, Jules. That was sort of not cool. I mean, yes, you completed the maneuver okay. Tells me to apply slight force to the wheel. I'm here, I'm here. It's raining enough that the wipers are going. I'm surprised it hasn't told me that I can't use FSD because it's, you know, there's five drops of rain out there. But that's good. It's put the wipers on when it wants them. At what I currently have it set to auto. It's 35. She says she's going 36. That's fine. Full self driving may be degraded, poor weather detected. Yeah, I wondered how long it would take to get that message. She seems to be doing. Now, this um, railroad track is not bad. So. I didn't panic hit the brake, but I would prefer if she would have slowed 5 to 10 going over it just the same. Like every time you see a railroad track, you probably should you probably not slow just a little bit? I would say that you should. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird now, the um, preview removing 
you know, I had heard that the visualization had changed, the red was gone, it, I guess it looks more polished, and um, I'm just making note that I agree that it's showing me a yellow line and side road markers and this nice big blue box for the car. Uh, it's a stop sign, Jules. Thank you. You know, if you're, whoa, whoa, there's a truck. You could just wait till the truck, wow, comes past. Turn sharp enough. Okay. A lot of people without their headlights on. I'm confirming that Jules has hers symbol lit. It must be dark enough that they're on because I'm, I'm still seeing problems with the, um, I'm still seeing problems with the headlights always coming on with the wipers. Yeah, considering that it's Friday nearing the end of rush hour, she has chosen a method for getting up to the Lowe's Home Improvement that, um, won't take us through the worst of Euclid traffic, so that's good. Yeah, that um, method she used for turning right back there where she started to roll before the truck was all the way past, I mean, that is like some people drive. <laughs> I would say that it wasn't anything irregular about that. It's just as the person monitoring the system, maybe I would have preferred if um, she had just stayed still there and then when she went like go because I'm confident and I know I can go stoplight here at Academy Street you turn right you end up on Main Street Fuquay like I said this is the back way oh there's an Ionic 5 right across the light from us Still trying to get rehydrated after mowing. Light is still green, turning yellow.
that on nervous cars are passing me over there the other direction on this narrow road let me slow down or let me brake that would be very new driver like but um she's very consistent in her speed in this lane right now looks good to me
but not not bad. Uh, okay, steer to the right. Oh, you missed the lows? No, you didn't miss it. Okay. So it's just not where I would have turned, but that's okay. I don't know where she's going to stop. She did that totally fine. 0.1 miles coming into the parking lot. You can turn the turn signal off now. Are you going, really going to turn? Okay, you're really going to turn. Okay, where are you taking me in the parking lot? I'm willing to... Oh, I see on the map she's going to take me all the way over here to the left and all... Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Normally I break before I turn down lanes, but that's, that's fine. Oh, she wants to put me... She wants to put me in parking space number one, or right here at the very, very front of the store. And that's where she's going to stop. That's all, folks. I guess maybe she was going to go a little bit farther, but make the turn, and then I think she was actually going to stop right here. We won't call that a disengagement, though. That was more of a, you know, I'm here, that's good, now let me go park. You know, better would have been, there's a wide open parking space. My driver has selected exercise program parking. And that she'd come over here and parked me, you know, a good ways away from um, the building. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> I wonder what, when they name the parking, you know, closest available, uh, back 40 exercise parking. What will the names of the choices be? So, all right. It's really not raining too bad. I'm going to walk around for a few minutes and then we'll trek back home. don't expect her to let me engage it in the parking lot and I want to go home down Main Street Fuquay so I'm going to get out on 55 and then I'm going to engage uh, full self-driving beta.
we go. See, I did that twice and she didn't do it. But that was, I'm sure it's just how I hit it and it was doing that before this latest release. So I can't just assume if I double tap it that I'm engaged. I've got to look and make sure. I've got to like listen for the sounds. And Ruby, the pulling in on the stalk, it's more crisp. So she's keeping the speed limit. It's 55 here. And then just be, end up making a big loop, going out the back way, coming in down Main Street. I actually haven't navigated home yet, and I'm not going to for a reason because. I don't want her to take the Judd Parkway loop. I want her to actually go through Main Street. She flashed me. Okay, Jules. We don't have to come up on the traffic quite that quick, sweetheart. Does she take it a little slower? Does she get around it without going into the lane when she turns? I do have planned to go to the garden hut tomorrow, which is basically on the way to the Greenway Trail. Um, so we'll get that drive captured tomorrow. That'll take us through a little different part of Hukeway. They're open 9 to 5 tomorrow, but I'll probably, you know, go over during the middle of the day sometime. Hopefully the quality of the video will be acceptable, even though I um, am now driving at night. It got dark pretty quick. Ten minutes to eight. I would be so super stoked if I make it into my driveway with no disengagements. I mean, for me right now, it's not super duper important. But still, it would be nice. So the speed limit slowed to 35. I didn't see exactly when that happened, but I can tell you that I noticed that she slowed up. We got a sign here for 25 ahead, but we should be, I guess I better navigate home now because if I don't, she won't know to turn up here on Wesley Chapel. <laughs> All right, well, I didn't wait too late, so that's good. I mean, I could have gone home the other way down past Aviator, but this was my intended, my hoped for path. Oh, she stayed on in her lane. Very impressed. That was very nice. And I managed to let go of the wheel enough that I didn't accidentally take her out. Although if I do that, we're not going to call that a disengagement. That's just it's a fine line between hold the wheel and don't hold the wheel too tight. And if you've ever driven the FSD Beta, you'd under you'll understand. is the correct speed limit. It won't drop until the other side of this upcoming stoplight. Now this is a really funky stoplight here at the railroad crossings. Usually I'm coming at it from the other direction and Ruby, she's flashing me again even though my hands are on the wheel. And I'm doing the little jiggle the wheel game. <gasps> I braked for the cat. I just didn't give the car the choice. I don't know what the car would have done, but 
So now we're not going to know about the stoplight. Thank goodness the kitty crossed the road safely. That scared me. Jules didn't do anything wrong. I just didn't give her a chance to do anything right either. For something that, um, and I've got to get her through the light now because she won't let me engage at the intersection. That's all right. The kitty was worth it. Re-engaging. There's a cop up here, Jules. We did not need to show that we were speeding or not speeding, but, you know. He's just there with his radar gun. No problem that you sped up to 35, right up to the 25 mile per hour sign. I was lowering the speed with the knob. Oh, I'm sorry, officer, but... You know, I engaged autopilot and the speed limit was 35 and she took off like a bullet to get up to that 35 mile an hour speed limit to only to slow down to 25. But officer, I was slowed down by the time I got to the 25 mile per hour speed limit. Oh God, he, he's not behind me. very busy over here. The Mason Jar Tavern on the left at the stoplight. Um, Fainting Goat Brewery over here on the right with their outside food truck. Vicious Fishes Bar, a street over the Anna's Pizza Place. I mean, it's Friday night in Fuquay. Plus, the new building has a new Mexican restaurant opened up and the renovated Mexican restaurant has reopened up. So Fuquay has no shortage of Mexican food now. Which I really liked. I used to eat at the one that's been renovated. I don't know. At least once or twice a month. Um, El Dorado. Which they've got a new name now. But. Um, it was good. I'm going to say my initial impression is here's the 35 sign. She started to pick up just before the sign, and she's picking up good. Um, I'm going to say that I think she's been honoring slowing down for the speed limit a little more quickly, which is what we wanted her to do. She was going to get us all a ticket. So, I, I think. I'll let you know a little bit more on that tomorrow, because that was one really big problem. Um, and I think that might have been some of the verbiage in the recall stuff. So, we're here approaching South Park, the light at South Park. There have been ball games tonight. It didn't rain enough. There wasn't any thunder or lightning. So, um, the stadium lights are on. She moved the wheel just the smidge under my hand there that I didn't understand, but it wasn't so much that we jerked out. But um, it looks like on one field, the game is about is over maybe. There's, there's, there's kids on both sides. See how she, when she puts the turn signal on. See right about here is where I would signal. Give the person behind me plenty of room to know I'm turning. Wow. Wow. You know, Jules, really, you could. You could. That was a, still a little close over there. Still a little close. <laughs> and a little fast. And a little late on the signal. But she made it around the corner with me without me having to disengage. So, there's that. I would like her to signal earlier and slow down more for that curve, which obviously she needs to do because she was barely able to stay in her lane. And I guarantee if the other vehicles hadn't been there, she probably would have went over the line and not even slowed down that much. Really, honey, it's okay to slow down a bit more. Oh, there's a car coming. Okay. It's just narrow over here. And there's deer. I'm watching for deer. She did a good job there staying in her lane. No, she put the turn signal on coming around the corner. Don't do that. It's not a real turn. 
they've been doing it at that particular spot, both cars, for weeks, months now. Um, so, at least in that particular spot, that problem with the turn signal has not been fixed. It's just confusing to the car behind you. They'd be going like, well, why did the person put on the turn signal for no reason? Or they put on the turn signal, but then they didn't make the next available turn. I don't know there if it was a right or a left turn signal, because one of them will make sort of sense in that spot, and one of them won't. That was a bunny rabbit across the road. Really honest, Jules, I'm making her slow up now. You could slow down a little bit. It's a neighborhood street. Oh, that wasn't really any better either. She's just gonna stop. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't excellent and it was not bad. It was uh, as good as always with a few improvements is how I'm going to leave it. I see a, either a stripe or a tux is probably a stripe on the driveway over here. I don't see him on the driveway anymore. I didn't exactly see which way he went. If it's stripey, he'll, you know, he's he's tight with his mom. He will be up the hill over to say hello super quick. I don't see Tucks being out right now. I think it was probably stripe. While I would love to leave the mulch in the car overnight, I've made that mistake before, and it'll smell up the whole car, so I'm going to have to lift it out. Not a big deal, but... Probably if I could have got away with leaving it back there for the night, I would have.